How's it going guys? I'm Rubik's Cube and welcome to Gaming Evolved and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about Battlefield 5 and this is just a rumors video and kind of some things that I would like to see added into Battlefield 5 so don't take everything too seriously but I think it would be kind of fun to talk about some of the rumors about Battlefield 5 and then also talk about a few things I would like to see them do when the game is released. Now, before we get into this video, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe right now because we do post daily and we have a lot of awesome content. So if you guys would like to subscribe, that would be awesome. And also, if you wouldn't mind, drop a like on this video because it does help us out. And if we could get about 25 or 30 likes, that would be amazing. But uh, moving forward, guys, a few things I want to talk about in regards to some rumors would be, first of all, is the release date. So in regards to the release date, there really isn't too much information to go on, but based on what I've been seeing from forums, things like that, it looks like Battlefield 5 is going to come out in quarter 4 of 2016, so that's going to be around the time of October, November, December, basically Christmas time, which is good and also kind of bad. So first of all, you know, it kind of sucks because unfortunately it's not going to be coming out. At least it doesn't look like it's going to be coming out anytime in 2015. So we are going to have a lot more time to wait, which means I'm going to have to wait even longer to play with my precious game. Even though it would kind of suck to have to wait to play Battlefield 5 until later in 2016, I do think that giving DICE longer to work on the game is overall a good thing because we definitely do not want a repeat of what happened in Battlefield 4 because that launch was utterly awful and I think if DICE has another launch equally bad or even worse, they're definitely going to lose a lot of the community because they just got it back basically in Battlefield 4 by giving us all this free content and I would hate to see them throw all that away by giving us a horrible launch again. So I think them having more time to work on the game, even though it does suck because we don't get to play it as soon is overall a positive thing. Now moving on to our next rumor which I guess isn't really a rumor because EA kind of confirmed it but uh, either way it's that Battlefield 5 is going to be going back to its roots which means it's going to be straying away from Battlefield Hardline's little take on the cops and robber thing and going back to what we know to Battlefield 4 which is an all out military shooter which I am extremely happy about. I'm very happy that they're going to be doing what they do best which is really large scale awesome epic warfare so that's going to be awesome and I cannot wait for that to happen. I'm really happy that they're going to be going back to what they do best and not kind of go rogue like Hardline did because I do enjoy Hardline it's a good game but when it comes to Battlefield games in general I just prefer that large-scale warfare because that's really what they do best and that's what the franchise is known for so that's about it for all the rumors like I said there's really not too much to go on right now we really don't know much at all about Battlefield 5 but I did think it would be kind of fun to talk about the rumors that we do kind of know about so anyway moving on from the rumors guys I want to talk to you guys about my wish list for Battlefield 5 and basically things that I want to see in the game and a bunch of things that I want to see out of the game now to kick it off, the number one thing I want to see in Battlefield 5 is basically just a polished game. And by that I mean, when it launches I want to be able to play the game without too many bugs. I mean a couple bugs here and there. It's understandable, it's a new game, but I want the ability to go around the maps and I have a decent amount of fun, not encounter too much BS like in Battlefield 4 when it launched that was basically unplayable. I want to have a good fun experience in the beginning where I can actually enjoy the game and not have them, you know, release patch after patch trying to fix their mistake because that's extremely annoying. So basically if they can just get it right the first time or at least get close so they can be on the right track, that's all I really want from them. I don't think it's too much to ask for, but as long as DICE takes their time with this game and doesn't rush things, I'm pretty confident they can give us a great game. Now my second item on the wishlist for Battlefield 5 is the ability to have multiple loadouts and actually Hardline already has this ability and it's not very difficult to add into the game, I'm not too sure why. DICE has not given it to us in Battlefield 4, but uh, for whatever reason they have not, so I really do want them to give that to us in Battlefield 5 because it's extremely annoying having to go back and forth and switch out your loadouts again and again because you can't make more than one basically. So if they did give us that feature, it would be extremely helpful and make things a lot faster, and I really don't think it would be too difficult to do on their part. So definitely in Battlefield 5, I really want to see multiple loadouts. Alright, so moving on to a few things that I do not want to see in Battlefield 5. First of all, I do not want to see the mobile AA again because it is definitely my least favorite thing about getting into any air vehicle in Battlefield 4. Because basically my story is I hop into a little bird, I fly for about a minute or two and then it just mows me down. Especially on maps like Zavid, the AAs have a field day on maps like those. They just camp in the back of the map and they take out every air vehicle in the sky and it just ruins the fun. So I really don't want to see them introduce that again into Battlefield 5 unless they severely nerf it by reducing its range or reducing its damage. But I think the best bet would just be leaving it out of the game entirely. Now the next thing I don't want to see in Battlefield 5 is active protection. 
because active protection basically makes every other countermeasure useless. Basically, if you go up against someone that is using active protection and you're not, you're going to lose that 90% of the time, and that's just kind of a broken mechanic in my opinion. It saves you from so many things and it's completely overpowered. So not only would taking out active protection make it easier to take out armor, it would also add to the number of usable countermeasures in the game. So moving on to the last thing I don't want to see in Battlefield 5, and that would have to be the UCAV. And yes, I do like using the UCAV, it is a ton of fun to use, you know, getting free kills basically whenever you want to. But even though it is a ton of fun to use, I have to say that this thing is just easily the most overpowered and just kind of ridiculous gadget in Battlefield 4 at this point. I mean, you can just get insane amounts of kills with this thing, it's practically a free kill every time you deploy it, and that's not a very good mechanic. And yes, they're probably going to be nerfing this thing pretty soon, but I think just to be on the safe side, DICE should stay far away from anything that even resembles the UCAV in Battlefield 5. But uh, yeah, guys, that's about all I have to say for Battlefield 5, so down in the comments below, let us know what you guys are most excited for for Battlefield 5, what you guys want DICE to leave out of the game. Basically, all your thoughts about Battlefield 5, go ahead and put those down below, and we'll have some good discussions. But uh, that's going to about do it for this awesome video, guys, so if you guys do want to see more, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, and I forgot to say this earlier, the defensive perk.